Hey everybody, this is Kenny Turnage here with uh, Let's Talk About It and today we're going to get straight to the point with Elon Musk and Lorena Gonzalez. What the hell was she thinking? Here you have the only automotive developer here in California talking about wanting to get back to work and we have an assembly person out of San Diego telling him to F off. First off, what is somebody from San Diego doing even commenting on a business up here in Alameda? Secondly, what is she trying to do? Is she trying to piss off everybody and get them out of here so there's no more businesses left? She is the person behind AB5, the gig economy bill, which has been a complete disaster for independent contractors and people trying to work in the driving industries. Does she not realize that Elon Musk is one of the innovators that we have inside of our state bringing jobs? We have 10,000 jobs that are about to get lost and go to another state when California is sitting here with its hand out asking for another trillion dollars for the Western PAC from the federal government because the state of California is nose is bleeding and can't replenish its own checkbook with tax paying money. Elon Musk and the people that he associates with are part of what was known as the PayPal Mafia. The PayPal Mafia, which I know Elon Musk hated that name and refused to stay in for the photo for Fortune magazine because he does not like what the word Mafia stands for. But they are the ones that have brought you PayPal, Yelp, YouTube, SpaceX, and many other companies that bring plenty of jobs into our industries. Coming from a construction background, typically when you tell somebody to F off, you're done doing business with them and you tell, you're telling them they could take their business elsewhere. One thing I could tell you in the business world, if somebody that I do business with and I respect is told to F off by somebody to take their business elsewhere, typically I will as well. So is this assembly person trying to tell everybody that he's associated with to F off and take their business elsewhere? Because if not, she should think again because that's the result that she's gonna generate by having such a drastic statement to another person in business. I should know better than anybody right now, when you put something in writing, you better be prepared for the backlash coming your way. Even though she's an elected official, she should be watching out what she says and she should be censored. As of today, Elon Musk says that he is going to be opening up his business. He's going to be putting people back to work. It's going to be about 30% staffed. He said that he's going to be putting himself on the line. So if you're going to arrest anybody, arrest him. Congratulations to you, Mr. Musk. I greatly appreciate, and so do the other working class people, that you're willing to put yourself in the same place that you're w wanting to ask people that represent you. It's ironic that our elected officials want to sit back and just wait to see what happens. But the people that actually go forward and push are the ones wanting to make things happen. Our government here in California and the Western PAC think it's okay to go ahead and ask daddy federal government for more money to bail them out because they're unwilling to make the decisions to go forward. Or we have people like our lady down in San Diego, assembly person Lorena Gonzalez, telling our businesses to F off and go elsewhere. What happens when they go elsewhere is there'll be nothing left here in California to work for. Just like in the business world, our assembly people have friends and allies. This assembly person, Lorena Gonzalez, told Elon Musk, which will trickle down to his friends and allies, to F off. I would encourage all the voters of California to tell Lorena Gonzalez, who is running for Secretary of State, and all of her friends from the assembly that are trying their best to drive every business out of California to F off in the next election in November. If you have any comments, or ideas, or if you just want to tell me to F off in the comment section, please do so. Until then, keep the conversation going and let's talk about it.